Welcome back to Outnumbered. Well, with less than two years before he wraps up two terms in the Oval Office, a new Brookings Institution survey of presidential scholars finding President Obama doesn't rank anywhere near history's greats, with some even going as far as to call him overrated. Here you can see the actual list, with President Obama ranking 18 out of 44. The scholars also put him on the worst, not best list, by a margin of nearly three to one. Why? Well, according to Brookings, it's because they find President Obama polarizing and have a mixed view of his military, legislative, and diplomatic skills. All right, well, this is a survey that I agree with, Rachel Campos <laughs> Stuffy. And I think the, one of the moments I reflect back to is when he got the Nobel Peace Prize and yes. hadn't really done anything. And now with all the uses of drones, which I actually support the president on, I sort of scratch my head on that one, too. But your thoughts? I agree completely. Um, and also, well, let me just say this. I don't think it's just about him. I think that he it isn't just that we he oversold himself or his campaign did at him as an individual. They oversold government. They told us that government was going to. See that it didn't work. Um, we see the IRS out of control. We see crony capitalism uh, growing and more corrupt. That's what you see in these numbers. And you know what, Kay Diggity, I also hey. think that, hi. hi! I know when you sit next to me, it's sometimes hard because we're so... <laughs> um, okay, the expectations were so high for President Obama. <laughs> he divided the country, so do you think because that maybe the bar was too yeah, high? It was unrealistic. I mean, but that's, it's a great thing. It's a wonderful wake-up call for an entire generation of millennials who are galvanized into action. And now they're just depressed and unemployed, and, and they realize that, you know, and, and some of it's not even by this guy's doing. Sometimes I feel bad for the president, because it, he really had nowhere to go but down. Andrea, uh, I thought, yeah. unlike Calvin Coolidge, who will be remembered <laughs> as one of the Or Chester A. Arthur, who was such a stud. Go ahead. I thought, who are these individuals that were voting on this? And it's interesting, because these are scholars. These are 162 members of the American Political mm. Science Association's Aww. Presidents and Executive Politics Section. This is the premier organization of presidential experts, and they're saying this. And they ranked ahead of President Obama, Clinton, Eisenhower, Reagan, Johnson, Kennedy, and George H.W. Bush. Well, I will say this about that. Uh, he may be one of the worst presidents, but he's one of the most effective leaders because he intentionally eroded uh, the foundations of this country, our capacity to lead in the world. He intended to do it. He's done it. I don't know if any other person could single-handedly do as much damage as this man intentionally has done. Oh, it's a job. really, it's a really interesting point because people say he's been tailor terrible, and what is he doing? But he's, he's actually done a tremendous, effective. yeah, tremendous amount of damage.